Clark, and I head up uh, product development at NHS Digital. I'm Hadley Beeman, I'm the Chief Technology Advisor to the Secretary of State for Health and Social Care, and I used to be a technical architect and software developer in various parts of the NHS. I'm, I'm Gillian Lane, I'm a product of my background, I'm a Deputy Chief Executive Advisor, which has been really good for me to see early ideas, because it's nice we get things that are hoping to be approved with long lists of evidence, so good to be here today. Right, so the results of the interview are in. Thank you very much. Thank you. And it's taken us a little bit longer than we were allocated, so you can tell that it was hard. So we've picked our top three, but we also have a highly commended one as well. So I'll start with the highly commended one, and that was top trumps. Um, we're highly commending that because we thought the volume of work that they've done this weekend was actually quite significant. And it's a really effective and fun way of presenting data uh, back to people. So in third place uh, is Consent Reimagined. <laughs> we actually don't have any actual physical prizes to award, no, but the, the information yeah. on that will come later. Yeah, yes. yeah. So we picked Consent Reimagined because there's quite a lot of excitement about getting paper out of the system, so that's a great thing for us to be doing. Um, but also that it allows the patients to have access to better information, and particularly the videos that you may be able to actually watch in your own home. Um, alongside the integration of the app. So we thought that a really big problem that needs to be solved <coughs> and um, excellent solutions being put forward. So well done. Uh, in second place, we have Alexa Skill. We picked Alexa Skill because uh, you've used a variety of data sources, you've built your own API, even though it might have been virtually, with someone not technically <laughs> in the room, but that's still a good thing, you've got them yeah. to do it. Um, lots of practical uses for patients and uh, members of the public, and really good example to encourage people to expose more of their data through the APIs so that you can extend uses of it. So well done. And drum roll. In the first place, we have Porter Room. Yeah. We, we love this, and it was our, we, we all immediately said Porter Room, we want Porter Room to win. Uh, self contained problem ready to go, great solution, uh, it will make a big difference uh, both to clinical outcomes and to overall cost within the system, so we thought it was fantastic. And the play on delivery was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shall I just, do, do you really want to add anything? <coughs> no, 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations, all three. Um, so, that was brilliant. Um, oh, is it? There's so many bits of flip flop in there. Yes, right. <laughs> so, you all dot Did anyone cheat? <laughs> Excellent. No, no. That's suspicious, isn't it? <laughs> so, the. Let's have a look at what the you won't, you won't be able to see this from here. So, we counted them up. Uh, Port Roo, in fact, was your favourite community project. So, well done. <laughs> Closely following Port Roo was NHS Top Trumps. Yeah. This, is, this is our funny. And then in third place, Alexa Skill. Yeah. So that means that the audience agrees with the judges. Yeah. Uh, so thank you very much.